Okay, so since recently Thor Ragnarok was released, today we're going to be looking at some Thor hammer effects. So to get things started, we're going to do the hammer summon. And so the footage I've got here is just me with a hammer and I'm just throwing it um, as far as I can and keeping my arm straight as um, it flies away. So the first step to making it fly into my hand is to play it backwards so you can see it flies up and I catch it. So if we get our footage and right click, go into time and then time reverse layer, um, you can see it will reverse it and it goes to the very end of the clip. So um, I'm just going to drag it all the way along until I get this bit to here because that's where I cut it and that way it is now perfectly in the timing I want. So if we play this, you can see the hammer is flying and then I catch it. So that already looks pretty good, but to uh, make it look a bit better, what we're going to do is put a lens flare on the corner of it. So obviously this is just an optional thing, and all the things now are, because we've got the hammer flying. So to do this, I'm going to use a plugin called Optical Flares. So if I click Control y to create a new solid, I'm going to type call this just Flare, make comp size, and click OK. And uh, then I'm going to go into effects and presets, and I can just wait for that to load. Okay, so here it is, and now I'm going to go into Video Copilot, and then I'm going to grab Optical Flares, and I can put that on my layer, and you can see now I have a flare. So now I'm going to go into Options, and I can customize the flare to um, make it look like how I want it to. So I'm just going to make this full screen and I'm going to delete all the um, layers that we've already got and then going to add a glow, then a streak and then I'm going to go into custom and I'm going to select random stripes. Now you can do this as you want. These are just the shapes that I like for this. I'm also going to turn the glow down a bit to maybe 100 so it's not as intense and I'm going to change the color to a nice blue. So now I'm going to click OK and we have our flare and I'm just going to turn the mode into screen. And um, I'm going to go to the bit where the hammer first appears, which is there. So I'm going to cut the lens flare to there. And uh, then I can grab the position and I'm just going to put it like there, where I think it would be. Um, actually, we could put it there. Now I can adjust the brightness and the scale. So I'm going to try 50 and 50. And in fact, we'll just go along a bit so we can see how it look at like a point like this. So that looks quite good, so I'm happy with that size. So now what I need to do is animate the lens flare to follow the hammer. I'm actually going to cut out a frame there so it appears just like that. So um, I'm going to grab the position and click keyframe and I'm going to drag that over to here and I'm just going to skip a frame, go up here, just advancing two frames at a time and then putting it on the hammer and uh, it flips a bit here uh, okay so that what happened there is I moved the position rather than the flare you need to be careful not to do that and it twists a bit here so I need to be careful to make sure I get the right corner but uh, it doesn't matter too much if you're not very accurate because um, it's moving very quickly so it's quite hard to see see there I catch it so I'm going to cut our lens flare right there. So now we have the hammer and it's got the lens flare on it and it's flying into my hand. So I'm also going to enable motion blur onto this layer and make sure I've got it turned on my comp as well. And this just means it looks like it's moving a little bit more and it makes it look slightly more realistic. Another thing that looks really good is to go to the frame where you actually catch it and just click Control shift delete and then I'm going to move this one frame forward so it happens a frame faster and then I can shrink the comp down as well and trim comp to work area. So this just means that when I catch it, it's a bit more forceful. So if I just 
preview that, it makes it feel slightly heavier. But this is also mucked up the lens flare, so we can delete a frame there. And now we have that. So if I just preview this, that looks pretty good. So now on to the lightning. So if I just go over into this comp here, you can see for this, I have the catch reaction and then point it up where the lightning comes from the clouds. And then I pull it back and I shoot the lightning forwards. Now for this, you could do a sky replacement to make the scene look like it's a, you know, a day where lightning would happen. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that because it's just for the lightning. So I'm going to go to the frame where I want the lightning to strike the hammer, which is there. And um, I'm going to click Control Y to create a new so solid. And I'm going to call this lightning and click OK. Then I'm going to go into effects and prefects. I'm going to search for advanced lightning and I'm going to put that onto my solid layer and I'm going to then trim it down to there. So now we need to play around with the look of the lightning to get a look that we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the glow. So I'll just put this to zero and this to zero because I don't want any of the edge on the outside and we want to make the glow later by itself. So then if I just position it in the right place, so it's hitting the hammer, you can see that this lightning um, mode doesn't, you know, stop there. So we want to pick strike, and that way it will now hit the hammer on the direction, and you can see it's coming from up here. So now we can play around the um, things here so we can increase the turbulence, but for this I don't really want to do that, and I'm actually going to go into core and make it a bit thicker, because this is like a main um, lightning strike. So if we maybe choose three, you can see that looks a bit better. And forking, I'll turn that up, but not too much, maybe like 30%, because we don't really want much here. And I think I'm gonna turn up the quarter, maybe like five. So it looks really like thick and like a heavy lightning bolt. So now what I need to do is animate the um, hammer. So I'm going to click on keyframes for direction and I'm actually going to drag it up here. So it hasn't hit the hammer yet but it's coming down and then the very next frame it'll hit the hammer. So that just gives it like a sort of um, gap in between and then I'm going to go every two frames and just make sure it stays in around the right place. That looks good to me. But you can see the lightning's not really moving at all. So what we need to do to fix that is Alt click conductivity state. So we'll do Alt and then click. And then I'm going to type in the expression time times five. And this will basically just animate it so it's like um, more realistic and it's animated. So that will do that for us. And uh, that looks pretty good. Since it's moving, I'm going to put on motion blur, but it'd be very subtle, but um, it makes it feel more believable. So now we can add our glow as soon as I go to here. And actually, what we also want to do is animate it coming down. So if we go to this frame here, before the ending, click keyframe onto origin, and then go on to the next frame, and I'm just going to drag that down to here so you can see the lightning is fading out and then we can hit Control shift D and just cut off that layer so the lightning has now been animated so now it's time to add some color to it so to do this I'm gonna add on some glow which is here okay so let's go to here now, since it's white, we need to pick the colors for ourselves. So in glow colors, I'm going to click A and B colors. And for A, I'm going to select like quite a nice light blue. And for B, I'm going to select a slightly darker blue. So this is going to be like the uh, edge glow. So I'm already liking the look of that. And then I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. And I'm just going to expand the radius and maybe turn up the intensity slightly. So now that's got a bit of colour, and that will go on all of my different frames. And in fact, I might want to make it just slightly um, bluer. Because it's a bit too light at the moment. There we go, that looks pretty good. 
Okay, so we've got that, and um, now what I want to do is add like a bounce lightning. So I'm going to duplicate this, so it's got all our animations. And um, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to select bouncy. And this creates this weird pattern that you can see here. Um, and so what we can do for this is uh, the origin is the one that really matters. The direction will just set to there. And um, you can see here, I'm just going to select all these and hit control C and then click origin, go to the beginning, hit control V and that will just paste those keyframes along and then I can delete these, go to here and set that to there. So you can see at the moment it's way too intense, that's the wrong place, that needs to go there and then we want to select the direction and just put it there. So now you can see this is way too intense, so I'm going to click Decay Main Core. And you can see now that's gone a lot. And also we can turn down forking slightly. And as well as that, I'm going to go into Core and I'm going to make it just half of the uh, main bolt. So it's not as intense and I'm also going to put it underneath so the glow appears on top. So now that we've got that, that's all animated for us, and I'm also going to cut off the first frame, because as you can remember, the lightning hasn't actually hit the hammer yet. And then it hits it, and it starts all this sparky stuff, and then at the end, we can cut it off a frame early. Or actually not. So the final thing I'm going to do to this hammer is add a lens flare. So since we made it in the last step, we can just get this, hit Control c go into hammer lightning, and hit Control v and if I just position this here and drag it out, we can then delete all of these keyframes and reanimate it. So I'll just drag it over to the hammer. And I'm going to turn off both of my lightning layers so I can see it a bit better. And I'm also going to put it onto blending mode of add so it's really bright. That's looking pretty good, but I think I might want to make it slightly brighter. There we go, that looks good. So now I can turn off my lightning just to speed it up and so I can see a bit better. And I'll select position and I'll just go through and I'll quickly animate it. And it's a pretty rough animation, which is okay because it's quite a heavy effect. So there's lots of things going on in the same place. So it's quite hard to see if it's like um, a few pixels to the wrong place. And we'll just go to here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, and it was very quick to do. So if we turn our lightning layers back on, you can see we've now got a flare to go with our lightning. And it uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to try putting it underneath or on top of that one. That looks quite good, but actually I think I prefer it on top. So now that we've got that, we've got the collecting the lightning. We want to do the uh, attacking with the lightning. So that is the frame I want to release the lightning on. So I'm going to actually duplicate the lightning that we originally made. And I'm going to drag it along here. Once again, delete all the keyframes. And turn them off. So origin, we're going to first drag that over to the hammer. And direction, that wants to go over here. So this time we're going to be animating origin, since this is um, the hammer. So I'll just select that. Go around. And we can just animate this onto the hammer. And just do the last frame there. Okay, and then we can just check. Check it looks good. And of course, since we've got that um, expression, see here, time times five it's still animated and if you think it looks too similar to the original um, then you can also go into expert settings and um, somewhere is the um, random seed but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment uh, we'll once again duplicate our flare as well and we can put that on here Delete all the keyframes. 
and position it on the hammer. Okay, so that's looking really good. Don't know why it's drifting off over there. Well, I do because because we've got a keyframe over there, but oh well. There we go. And that is on top of our lightning again. And then finally, we can also add the bounce lightning layer, which is this one here. And I'm just going to drag that up so it's with this lightning bit over here. And we can actually copy off the keyframes again. So here, we can select these, hit Control C. Select origin, hit control V. So now that's going to be following our hammer, although it's slightly off here. There we go. Just check these keyframes. Yep, so uh, that looks pretty um, good now. Just close down that. Um, so that's all I'm going to do for this effect. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, but that's all for this tutorial. See you next week. Bye.